Chief Garman, our Naval Forces Europe, Naval Forces Africa, Suicide Prevention and Awareness Coordinator, has worked with the region's suicide prevention and awareness coordinators um, uh, all together to do a combined uh, resiliency fair. So uh, getting some organizations together to not only give us something to belong to, but some places to, you know, keep in mind as resources to seek help from, whether it's for ourselves or for a shipmate, uh, a friend or a family member, because, you know, if, folks, if we can't take care of ourselves, we can't take care of our shipmate. So when we say take care of ourselves, it's not only our mental health, our spiritual health, our technical, you know, acuity and, and so forth, uh, to make ourselves stronger, but to give us the ability and the resources and strength and, as you said, Chief, the empowerment to help others. And that's the point of this resiliency fair, right? Yes, absolutely. The Navy is really big on ACT, which is Ask, Care, and Treat. So the, the number one thing that can be done when we think someone's in trouble is to ask. And, and when we ask the question, sometimes we're afraid to ask because we don't know exactly what we'll do when we get that yes oh yeah but it's to ask and then to listen you know and that's the part about caring is listening and some of the things that you'll find out when you ask the question and someone starts talking about issues that they're having is that they're having some of the typical you know key risk factors with that are related to suicide which can be financial problems relationship issues maybe trouble at work stress those things, maybe a traumatic event, a loss of a loved one, or you know, seeing something, an accident while they were coming into work, they witnessed an accident and it traumatized them, or yeah. other things. Uh, you may find out that they have had a history of depression or mental health problems. And what I wanna talk about with depression, some is Captain Trost, our CNE, CNA um, chaplain, in his training when he does suicide prevention, because chaplains do what's called a GMT plus, mm -hmm. he talks about depression isn't just biochemical, but it can be caused by repeated negative stress. And in the military, we tend to get a lot of high up tempo you know, stress. And sometimes it takes a while before we get downtime and we get time to decompress. And so that can cause symptoms like depression or it can lead to depression. So let me ask you then, you know, you talk about ask, care, treat, uh, um, ACT, uh, to act. And we talked about the ask, and I agree with you 100%. Just always ask, you know, when, it, when especially when you're younger, you know, you're afraid to ask because of what the, you know, yes might lead to. But the T in treat, you're not telling us that, you know, ask, care, treat, so I asked you if you were thinking about suicide and I said those words, said the S word, um, care, I get you to the care hotline, you know, I listen to the issue. But now the T treat, am I also supposed to treat you and, and walk you through this? Well, suicide is one of those things that really needs professional treatment. Okay. So the only person who can say that a person is not a harm to themselves or others is a medical doctor. Okay, good point. Treat can also be counseling to our chaplains. We have counseling services available at Fleet Family Service Center. So it's really connecting that person to where treatment is available. And our first step is going to be going to medical. And then medical can make their evaluation or talk with the person or maybe going to the chaplain first and then they can, they can do something. But it's always typically going to begin or end with medical. Good point. So I'm not, re I mean, I'm responsible as a shipmate to act, ask, care, treat but I'm not expected to provide that treatment, is get them to yeah. medical treatment and make sure whether it's our hotline 118 here overseas, or um, I, I have known some shipmates in the AOR who have gone to militaryonesource.com to get you know, an emergency hotline for someone who was in that situation. Pledge to Act is a Navy initiative that they've, uh, it's a campaign they just hit, kicked off, which there's a website to go to and I'll leave that information for you to post on the website. Okay where a sailor, anyone can go in and they can say, I pledge to act. It, you know, it's an intensely personal issue, suicide. So it, when you pledge, it can be something as simple as, I will ask if someone's okay every day, or, you know, I will look after my shipmates. And they're, they're very simple things that you can do. And then there's another little block, takes less than five minutes, which says, I'm pledged to act because, so that if you have something, a personal reason that's going on, 
on mine, I said, because I cannot afford to lose one friend, one shipmate, or one family member ever. Uh, I really believe you'd be amazed at how much of this training, this information, and when we talk about the S word, the suicide, and say it out loud, and talk about prevention, and you pledge to act, when you write something down on paper, you become a little bit more committed to it. Yeah. And it's amazing the stories that we get back and the feedback we get back from sailors who not only had the um, empowerment and the courage and um, the ability to intervene with somebody that had a suicidal, suicidal ideation or, um, you know, was showing some of the warning signs that you talked about, you know, the hard difficulties at work or changing in mood status or financial difficulty and uh, the success stories that come back. Don't wait for things to happen to you. Make them happen for you.